Hey everyone, I'm Maximilian from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 The Online Warrior, and of course everyone you know, Doctor Doom. This is the Doom Show, not The Online Warrior. How many times have I told you? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for coming anyway, and well, one of the few times I've actually invited into the house for kind of a special occasion. We're going to be playing Arcade Edition. I just downloaded this thing. I don't think Doom has much experience, but uh, I'll let you sit in and commentate. What the fuck is the point of online Arcade Edition? Oh, uh, well, anyway. Go to the damn arcade, you social awkward fuck! Okay, well, just because I can't... Anyway, I'm not going to argue with you. We're gonna... Yeah, you know, I'm right. We're going to get started. And I actually, I have played online quite a bit. Maybe I should sign into Xbox Live. That'd be kind of important. I, I did play this game at the arcade quite a bit. So, I don't mean, none of your... Tom Foolery. Uh oh. We are having technical <laughs> technical difficulties. Max, Xbox doesn't work on 56k. I I have good internet, I swear. <laughs> well, I'll get it to work, and we can actually start playing arcade edition. Because I I actually kind of know how to play Street Fighter 4. I mean, I don't have that much experience with Super, and that much experience with arcade edition. See we're Turn that off. Like, we're about to play the exact same thing. Well, at least my Street Fighter works. Hold on. I have to concentrate, man. Like, like I was saying, I I played I played Arcade Edition recently. I went to Family Fun uh, Arcade local in California here, a pretty big place, and they have like eight Arcade Edition machines, and I was able to play for quite a long time. Yeah, and I'm like, what'd you do, private kid? You know. <laughs> or threaten to take his lunch money away for quarters? No, uh, I'm not that terrible at this game. Like, I always yeah. thought I was awful at Street Fighter 4, but then I realized I was I was doing pretty well, like, in, in the arcade, and I was kind of kind of pleased with myself, but I always thought, you know, I could be better at this game. But what I don't have is the patience, you know? Sure. Which is why I like Marvel more. Just like, you know... Do you like Marvel more? Doom likes any game more where Doom is the best in it! Uh, that makes sense. Okay, let's give this a shot. All right. Put that down. Why? Right. You can't connect. Uh, no, we're good. Look, look at all this new what? shit that's in this game. New shit looks. Looks like a fucking Windows pop-up ad to me. I guarantee you, it's not pop-up. It. I think it's the instruction manual, to be honest. Okay, uh, here we go. You, you need it. Here we go. You let me know when the game starts. I'll be rocking online. No, okay, we're gonna let you know when the freaking game starts. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna go to custom match. If this works anything the same as it used to be, uh. Okay, I'm completely unfamiliar with what's going on, so my apologies initially. I would like to search for green bar games if that's at all possible. There we go! Shit. How are you doing on your game? I just won online. I'll let you know. Are yeah. you playing online? No. That's what I thought. I could be! Whatever. 3DS doesn't count. Yeah, You know, I'm joining some. Look at, we're in. This bastard. Look at, first guy. This is the first official. All I see is a title screen. Sending data. What is this? No, look, we're good to go. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna. I don't know who to use. I kind of want to start using Evil Ryu, but I think I'm gonna stick with Ken. To be honest, I think Ken. I think Ken got better in this game, which is kind of what I dig about it. And oh, do I have my outfits? I don't. Oh <laughs> my god! Enjoy your vanilla Ken. That sucks. Anyway, yeah, I think uh, being patient in this game is a, is an interesting virtue that I never really had. I always kind of want to punch people in the face. Patience is for the weak. If Doom was patient, Doom would not control a country. Maybe I just want to punch you in the face. Okay, here we go. Live, live. Oh, Rose. I hope my controller is configured. I really do. Okay, here we go. Alright, I don't know how to play Rose too much because of Arcade Edition. Kind of underwater. Okay, why does this lady have a shower? How can I ever felt fireball? Okay, we're in there. We're in there. That didn't work. Yeah. Jump. Come on. Did she just say soul fuck? That didn't work either. I can't roll like Street Fighter X Tekken. Okay, Max. Jumping in, obviously, not the key to winning here. Yeah, you know what? I'm trying... Gee, I'm working on it, okay? 
see if this still works. Wow! Do I still know how to play? Okay, I do. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I really think you put use to that flow chart there, Max. Not flow chart. Jump in. Sure you can. Jump back. Sure you can. Sure, yeah, sure you can. Okay, why is that guy so happy in the background? It kind of creeped me out. Yikes, her throwing is crazy. Oh, I was not ready for the jump. Shit. Whoa, he's hitting throw a lot. Okay, this guy seriously likes to grab. Like he's playing the WWE or something. I'll be ready for it. So now he's ready for me to throw it then, because... Oh, shit! Now you're all throwing dragon punches out of the Oh. Whoa, it's three rounds! Oh my god. Oh no, Max! I should have won! Okay, no, we can do this. We can do this. I have a, I have a grip of meter. Wow, this is really hard to play online. Okay, I got it, I got it. You guys like jumping in a lot. It's just a power brother. Uh, bait him out. Wow. Oh, I was matching that throw. Oh, girl! Wow. That's a waste, waste of meter. Okay, if you don't want to do crazy, you just throw a fireball. I'm waiting him out, dude. You gotta be patient in this game. Like, give me a break. Patience sucks! Oh, I'm getting out of here! Get him! Oh, this is an epic. Okay, I did it. See? I'm not crap at this game. I can do it. Yeah, well, you beat a Rose player. Congratulations. Rose isn't bad in this game. Uh, whatever. Well, I think she's better in Super. Well, the last time you saw Rose win in Evo. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's win. And that's just about all the Doctor Doom I could stand for one episode. It was nice having him here for now, but I think I'll take this one solo from here on out. But if you guys enjoyed Doctor Doom being on an arcade edition show, as odd as that is, let me know. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see your feedback on uh, me and Doom being essentially the bad version of Gutex and Mike Ross. But um, from here on out, this is going to be essentially some ranked games that were happening the uh, from the same evening when I started to warm up to AE a little bit and to get more familiar and well refamiliarize myself with the Street Fighter 4 system. And thank God I did a step kick or a fake step kick right there because that would have hurt pretty bad. So there's a few matchups in this game that I kind of I, I really despise. I think back in the day when I was playing Street Fighter 4, um, I was really comfortable with the game and I was actually enjoying it a lot, but Ken got beat pretty hard. Uh, he didn't have a good walk speed, and other characters other characters that could out-footsie him like way better, like Ryu and Akuma, would, would just rock Ken, and those matchups seemed to be pretty hard for me, but to be honest, the things that bugged me the most were a couple of specific matchups, like to charge characters. Um, I don't know if you, you guys have already probably noticed, but I do enjoy jumping in this game. I am somewhat of an impatient player, and that, that pretty much comes from nine years of playing Third Strike. Now, once Third Strike comes out, if, if no one's really familiar with how Third Strike is, you do whatever the hell you want in that game. <laughs> to be honest, like if you if you know the timing and you know and you know the matches of all the characters so well, and you know your opponents, you pretty much get your, your your freedom of movement in third strike is huge. So you kind of can go wherever you want. You jump, you parry what they do, you empty jump. There's there's so, so many different strategies and elements that that really didn't apply to me when I first started playing Street Fighter 4 from a third strike background. I also played Capcom vs SNK2, but I was never really good at it. Like I really enjoyed it, but I never did well competitively. However, um, Street Fighter 4 is just a completely different beast, and it's me trying to get back into that into that groove to identify where Ken's where Ken's strengths are. And to be honest, when Street Fighter 4 was originally out, I treated Ken like he was a grappling character. Like the the, the main purpose was to get the guy on the ground so that you can go for the mix-up when they're getting up. And as you see here, there's a ton of moments where I'm not actually going for those mix-ups, or I'm not actually taking advantage of those situations, and that's just force of habit from not being used to playing Street Fighter 4. And w I, that's when I ha actually had my most success when, when playing this game, and wow, that was an epic choke right there. Fei Long, Fei Long pulled that one out. 
Um, th there's those moments where I have to identify of how you need to treat these games and how, where you need to be patient, where you need to just step back and say, all right, I, I need to identify that I have the life lead here and just play it out from this point. I mean, as much as I hate that, like, I get this huge feeling in the fiber of my heart and soul and in my gut that I want to kick the dude in the head, that if they have 25% life and I'm sitting on a lead, I want that W and I want to I want to finish it up. So it's it's much different. Like it's it's really hard to get back into that into that into that that jive of um of playing Street Fighter in that in that method because for the games that I played before and and the games that I'm playing now heavily which is pretty much Marvel your freedom of movement is pretty much given by the result of offense, being really offensive, and you're and you're kind of rewarded for it. But anyway, so back to the match at hand. This this is going pretty well. I'm kind of feeling out my zoning and getting to the point where Fei Long is down on life, and I'm actually trying to identify with myself. I'm trying to think to myself clearly that that of what's actively happening in the situation to provide a better solution. And I'm getting a couple mix-ups here, and wow. One really bad decision will lead into the one-inch punch for Fei Long, and that is a ton of damage. So one really bad decision then leads into another really bad decision because I'm like, how how dare you do that? How dare you use Ultra 2 and hit me with it? So I do a light uppercut in Vengeance, and there's bad decision number two, and that was it. Like, two really bad decisions lead to KO and a loss for me. So that's really... That's, that's, that's like the perfect way to describe Street Fighter 4, is that if you don't play your 100% game, and you don't keep your head in how this game plays the whole match, you're gonna lose. Like, if you can't if you can't keep yourself within that mindset, you just... It's something you need to train on, and it's something I'm actually gonna work on too, so... I'm potentially thinking of making this into some more live commentary. If you guys enjoy post-game commentary, let me know. But I'm thinking about doing some live game commentary and actually like coaching myself through moments like this to identify where I need to sit, sit in third person and see myself not actually doing this. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. That was good. I did that correctly. And to identify of how I can actually level up in those situations. So it's just different methods I see because I do enjoy Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I never really hated this game. It's just there were some elements about it that were so much different from what most of the vets were used to that it bugged the hell out of me, which led to the like initial Street Fighter 4 hate. But nonetheless, playing it now and I'm actually enjoying it. So Makoto is one of those matchups where I know that she got better in AE. How she got better, I don't know. I just know that her upwards, um, her upwards crack punch, like like I used to call it, uh, it got really similar to how it was in Third Strike, if not a little bit better. So it, it hits like all the time, and you can stick it in the middle of combos, stuff like that. I remember jumping in on Makoto in that situation and thinking to myself, I wonder if she has an anti-air. What the hell? Let's find out. <laughs> and she totally does. I think that's standing medium kick. So knowledge, just another piece of knowledge to add to the list. So, uh, at, at this point, I'm actually trying to think to myself that Makoto needs to get in. She needs to find ways to get in, and she doesn't have crazy EX moves to throw about to, to like, get past. At least I don't, at least I don't think so. So this, this game needs to be played from a mid-screen distance to a full-screen distance. Um, as far as my immediate judgment of picking up how this, how this matchup goes, of course, a lot of the times your opponent's gonna act extremely differently than you think. So, you kind of have to play it by ear and adapt. Like, adapting in, adapting in fighting games is one of the most important elements, and it pretty much signs how, how there's ex ex extraordinary players, besides just like the regular dudes that play. But, here we go, getting kind of chunked on my Makoto, because I'm not respecting her normals, and I just kind of want to get in there. But if I'm able to lead into a successful mix-up here, oh, she falls for the 5-frame jump. And, there we go. Wasted a little bit too much meter in the end because I think I botched the ultra motion at the very end. But anyway, I'll take it. Three bars for a victory, I guess, is better than not. And at this point, you got to realize that your opponents want to win. Uh, it, it, at least, at least in my in, in my situations where I'm down down one game, and it seems like they figured you out, and you need to do something about it on the third game. It's hard to put yourself into that situation to understand what you need to change. Like, what do you need to go about your current game plan and do something different? Um, another thing that's really irking me is the is the fact that Makoto has kind of like a fake jump in. If she does her axe kick in the air, she falls extremely fast. And uppercutting that stuff on reaction online is mad difficult. Um, especially with Ken who doesn't have an extremely fast anti-air uppercut. 
The medium one doesn't come out extremely quick. It's like, a, it's like I'd imagine one or two frames less than like Ryu's, who's just like immediate, and another character's like Saga. So just gotta use it. And in this situation right here, I keep the pressure on and burn the meter, and I'm figuring if he wants to get out of that. So if I don't, if I don't burn the meter, I might die with it. Might as well use it and and get get the win out of it. And here's one of the reasons. I began begun to hate the end of Street Fighter 4 and the Super Street Fighter 4, especially playing online, and that and that is specifically for the matchup of Ken versus Guile and Ken versus Blanca. So I kind of wanted to put this game in here as a perspective of uh, how I need to treat the Ken versus Blanca games because oh my gosh, these were the most frustrating things in the world. Trying to get in on charge characters is the toughest. And as you can see, the dude is mad trolling me right now, and I'm trying to keep it in my mind. Troll's gonna troll just as much as haters are gonna hate, and I need to sit full screen and gain meter and let him come to me. That's just the way it's gotta go. I'm sitting on the life lead, I just gotta do it, and look at that! He does EX ball and whiffs it, that's exactly what I needed, so... I also think that his Blanca balls became much more punishable now. Ken's step kick looks almost to be a guaranteed punish, but he probably did a fierce one in that situation. However, uh, I'm, I remember hearing back in the day how Blanca got, got a pretty big nerf in that in that department. So you have to be really careful about which Blanca ball you use on block strings and on even hit strings, I think. So, I'm, I'm recalling that right now and recognizing that I can, I can punish those Blanca balls because that stuff was incredibly rough in Street Fighter 4, just dealing with Blanca Ball, uh, Blanca Ball hit stun, and Blanca Ball, like, um, block strings, and they use it all the time. Man, that was so rough. But anyway, I got, I think I got a couple of, um, Hurricane Kick combos, and that quickly leads into a Dizzy. And that's one thing I love about Ken, is that if you're able to, if you're able to successfully mix up your opponent, uh, two times, like, if you get the knockdown, and then you end with a Hurricane Kick, it's, if you're able to do it one more time with another Hurricane Kick, you'll lead into a Dizzy. Like, two Hurricane Kick combos from Ken equals a very quick Dizzy, and that that almost guarantees victory, like, if you, if you get that. But as you can see, we got red on red here, and I doubt this is Daigo, but Yoon is an extremely powerful character. I also love that combo from Ken now. I love the fact that they gave Ken a sweep combo because he needs an untackable knockdown, um, and they, they gave it to him, which I really like. But here we go. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really fully aware of what Yoon is possible or capable of in matchups like this. So I'm kind of just going all at it and going all in and seeing what he does. And wow, the guy has uh, anti airs and he's got an extremely ambiguous dive kick at times. And that ambiguous dive kick leads to 25% damage in combos. So <laughs> little Chinese dude is no joke. Um, and I really don't know which part, which points I can punish. It seems like the shoulder is not punishable. And God, look at his footsies! Look at the amount of great poking tools he has. And of course, Genesian. And I can't believe how good Yoon is in this game. I am getting brutal third strike flashbacks. I really do dig how they gave him his red costume, which was the console costume they gave um, the Third Strike characters. They, I don't think they had him in the arcade, but just as fast as it started, it's completely over, and I died with all my meter. So I should probably take my advice in situations like this and learn from my mistakes. Um, and also play more Yoon's. The only way you can get better at stuff like this is if you play a lot of it. So I guess it's kind of a good thing there's a lot of them right now, because who knows when there's going to be a balance adjustment. But that's going to be just about it for the first episode of the Online Warrior featuring Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Um, if you guys enjoyed this kind of a style with doing some live commentary at the beginning, and if you, if you enjoyed the, the post commentary, let me know. Like I said, I'm not the greatest at Street Fighter 4. I do enjoy playing it, but if you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, leave a comment or give a thumbs up. That's going to just about do it for now. Take care, everyone.